What's going on, Adrian? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to take a quick look at your website, see what's going on, and see what we can do. So right off the bat, I do like it. You don't have a header over here, which is not the greatest thing in the world, but it's you know not the worst thing either. Only thing is, uh, where is your logo? Go to Canva, create a free account, and create yourself a nice logo because that'll be awesome because you definitely want to put that in the top left corner over here. Move this stuff over just a little bit. I love that you have your phone number here. Leave us a review on Google. That's fine. Um, I would probably put that all the way at the bottom. I do love this request form submit stuff. That's excellent. So good job. Uh, only thumbs up for that. And then over here, uh, serving. Um, so here's what you would want to theoretically do. So you have a whole bunch of stuff, uh, of services that you do offer. Why don't you have them, you know, a paragraph for each thing? Someone can quickly look, see that each of these are a link to that leads somewhere else and have a little bit of a paragraph about each one. Content is key. Google really loves to see content. So the more content you have on your websites, the better. Now you do have a number over here. Always have your numbers everywhere. Click to call. That's the big thing. Uh, you want them to get on your website and then get off of it by calling you. So. Uh, as we're going through, the about us is very good, so there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, just to this is what we would call a um, a buyer intent keyword. So keywords are very important. You scatter them out all throughout your website. It's what somebody might put into Google so that they can find you. So you know, uh, painting contractor Ponte Verde. So it's somebody looking for a painting contractor in Ponte Ver uh, uh, Vedra Beach, Florida. So it's definitely very important to put those stuff in your website as well. But then we get to the bottom over here. There's not much going on. Um, number again, I don't know why you have your website over here as well when we're already in it. Um, and then where you guys are kind of located. So definitely, um, a little bit of room for improvement, but anyway, let's take a look behind the scenes, see what your website has. So this is a, a tool called Ahrefs. It let us, it lets us know kind of how strong your website is, what Google ranks you guys as. So a UR rating is basically how strong, uh, your domain is and a, a DR rating is how much Google trusts you. Now, this is dependent on backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else and somebody can click on it. Now, unfortunately, not all of them are created equal. Some of them are uh, more spammy than others, like a BuzzFeed or Wikipedia page. And right now you have zero of these, so it's definitely not going to affect any of this. Now, a referring domain is when somebody can click on that link and it goes back to you. Now, again, you want strong ones like uh, from a blog, or, you know, a painter's blog. That's really, you know, good authority. And then organic keywords are what you're ranking for on your website. So, you know, if you're uh, if somebody types in, you know, uh, I don't know, Jackson, Florida painting uh, company, you know, and you're ranking for that, then you'll show up for that. But, you know, if you have nothing on here, you're not going to rank for anything. So. Let's take a look at what a buyer intent keyword kind of does and looks like. So painters Jacksonville. So they're looking for a painter in Jacksonville, Florida. First thing we got over here is an ad, which is for Angie's list. So who cares? Never mind. But people are willing to pay to get to the top. Um, if you do it correctly, you can get some excellent quick results. If done incorrectly, it's not really going to help you much. But here is our GMB. Again, you can pay to get a, yourself in here as well. But this is basically where you want to be. Now, one out of three people, uh, sorry, about three, 30 to 40 percent of all people who um, search for anything, we'll click on one of these three people. So definitely worthwhile to get here. Um, and then we have our organic search. So this is where, you know, you can rank as long as you're doing the right stuff. First person over here is a new leaf painting. Uh, they were actually number two in the GMB as well. So let's find out what they're doing to, to, you know, be on top. So it's a little mixed up over here, but there's nothing, you know, like it's fine. Uh, a new leaf painting with their logo over here is nice. Get a free estimate. Their number, uh, is not a click to call. So they lose points in my book. It is very big over here. Typically, you would want to connect all of this into this one over here. But, you know, all right. Uh, as you can see that they do a ton of stuff, but they do have drop down menus for each category. Remember, you want people to come to your website as a tool. You want them to click or hover over what their idea is. Give them stuff to click on and then move to the next thing so they can quickly get to your phone number. And then let's get started is great. They, they're they giving an idea. These are all links, by the way, to other service pages. But as you can see, they are talking a little bit about it. Actually, this is a little bit about them, which I'm not, you know, it's fine, like I said, but you do want to talk about what it is you're offering. Uh, I don't know if this is your a job they've done. It probably is. Get started, book appointments, and all right. So they have content, but very, very little of it. So it could be a lot of what they're ranking for is on the back pages instead of the home page. So honestly, if you just, uh, you know, got yourself some content on the front page, you, you'd be doing pretty good on that one. But let's take a look at the back end of what they have. So they have a UR rating of 39 and a DR rating of 32. Honestly, this is the golden area. You want them in the 30s and 40s with the ratio of one to one. They're not really doing too well on that one. They do have 4.68 thousand backlinks. 
So that's only 4,680 backlinks. But they do have a 1.43 returning, uh, which means that, you know, some of them are really good for them to get these rankings. So what you do is you just find out what these guys are and you take them. Uh, and that's really it. So as you can see, like, they did a huge change in 2021. They, like, kind of just skyrocketed. But anyway, they are bringing in uh, two and a half thousand or two point eight thousand people to the website with five and a half, five point one uh, thousand keywords. So let's take a look at the back end, find out what those keywords are, and see what we can do. So they're getting no traffic. I mean, they are getting traffic. Uh, let's see what they got. Painters near me is not a great keyword because anyone in the United States can can obviously put that in. So I'm looking at volume traffic position and uh obviously the keywords so painters jacksonville florida is an excellent keyword 600 people a month search for it they're getting 93 people to their website because they're in position two for it same thing with painting contractors near me they're getting 88 people unfortunately it might not help them because they might not actually be in the area they might just be you know in tampa or you know orlando or somewhere else but the because it's it's more of a, an, an international keyword. So a lot of these words, I'm gonna assume, are a lot on back pages and stuff like that. So you definitely don't want exterior house painters near me because again, high volume, yeah, you're getting traffic, you're not even in a great position to get that traffic, but because of that, you are, um, you're getting like people to your website who probably can't even help, you can't even help. This is a better keyword. You know, Painters Jacksonville, Florida, 600 people search for, 59 a month are coming to him. And he's get he's in position four for it, so that's definitely what you want to do. So he's got the right idea, but you know he's going about it a little wrong. Angie Painter, I don't even know why he would have something like that on his website. But anyway, um, that just kind of gives you an idea. But how does this really help you, Adrian? So honestly, all you got to do is uh, three things, right? We got to get content on your home page. We got to start talking about your services. Add those uh, step two or organic keywords into that content so it makes sense and it's relevant. So you can start ranking for those keywords and then you can start ranking period just by getting backlinks and referring domains. Go over to the other guy in New Leaf Painting, find out what he's using and take those for yourself. And then you'll start ranking without any real issues. All right, that's all I really got for you, Adrian. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you have any feedback, I would definitely love to know. Other than that, you have an amazing day. Bye.